So I'm the plant manager of Optman, which is part of uh, Otagon Group. It's a company uh, of 215 uh, employees. We have a turnover of 32 million euro, and we are producing boxes mainly done on board. The company was created in uh, 1935 by Mr. Opman. 36 uh, <laughs> sites in the group around the world, uh, in US, in China, and mainly in Western Europe. Yeah, we, we are working with different markets, so all markets, but not pharmaceutical and uh, health, health and personal care, and uh, which means that we have opportunities to do different things with uh, with uh, different market and to cross to have a cross cross ideas between uh, the chocolate market or industrial market uh, and to use things coming from the chocolate uh, market to I don't know something else or wine industry or, or something else. Yes, yes, it, it will help us to develop new products which are not existing currently. So this will create a, a bigger market uh, market share with some products that are today not existing. So we are developing, creating new products or new 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 ideas to uh, to increase this this market share, which which is slightly uh, stable. It's a laser die cut machine. So we have invested in this machine to to have a new technology compared to the conventional machine that we have. And we are uh, experimenting new, new production with this machine. It's still new, still new. We are still learning a lot of things on this machine, but we are also producing with different customers and we are doing standard production. And we are trying in the meantime to, 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 to do some innovation with different customers. Initially, it's for technology because we want to be always, uh, let's say, with new technology to see what will be on the market in uh, in few years. So this is the first point. Second point is uh, to create new products that are not today on the market. And the last point, but not least, is that today market is uh, decreasing the quantity and die cut uh, with the laser die cut. Uh, we are doing more uh, smaller run, and uh, this is perfect for for this kind of uh, jobs. Our customers today are changing slightly. So today, nobody wants to have any stock. Uh, they want to change their product the most they can. In the past, you can get a product for years and years. Now, after six months, the product is old and they need to change. And for prospect, when you arrive with a standard packaging, you can't really compete because everybody today can do more or less the same, uh, the same product. Today we are working mainly with uh, brands that are working themselves with uh, supermarkets and all supermarkets are asking to have a special service only for them. So our customers are creating a model of packaging only for a specific uh, supermarket. This is uh, yeah, fragmentation of, uh, of packaging. All our customers were saying, OK, you have to invest in digital because digital is the future and so on. And they were all meaning printing. And uh, we were examining this market to say, OK, if we print in digital, is it really worse or not? And we have done some calculation and think that, OK, the difference between digital printing or offset printing is not so big because we always have a bottleneck afterwards. So that's why we try to invest in the finishing before the printing. This machine will replace totally the, the conventional one, I'm pretty sure. In, in few years, it will be the, the future. Yes, we are. <laughs> of course, yes. It was a quite long process. It took, I would say, around one year to, to before taking the right decision because we have investigating on uh, all the laser die cuts that were on the market. So we have seen what are the pros and cons uh, for each suppliers. And uh, we have defined that it was a beam which was more in line with what we are doing today in our company. And the second point, so this was the first point to identify the right supplier. And the second point was to see if economically it could be feasible or not. And this took quite a long. We have done trials with Icon. We have done trials with another um, owner of a beam machine. And after all this calculation, we managed to do the, the investment. This is, this is already something 
which is not new from now. It's already a few years that it's changing. So we have uh, we have worked quite a lot on our conventional equipment to to improve this, to reduce the setup, to to be more efficient in in the setup and not only on, on the running speed. And today we are arriving to a point where it becomes really really hard to 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 improve it even better. And uh, new technology is helping us quite a lot. It's slightly both, so we need to have the demand to get at least an economical return and also the new technology to, to, to know it, to know the technology, to be, to be already in the market uh, before our competitors, to know what we can do, what we can't do, what we can improve and, uh, and this is helping us quite a lot. And we have chosen a icon also due to this partnership which is existing and we can both uh, improve uh, ourselves. The relationship with Icon is very good when we tell them we have a problem. They usually find a solution pretty quick. We have constant updates so we know where they are and what's been doing and so we are not kept in the dark so that's really good for us. And we can work with them on, on about just about anything so that's very interesting for us. It's, it's been really good working with them. They are really, really good. They are amazingly good on anything that is the, the, the core of the machine itself. So the laser and the cutting is absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's always the case. I mean, uh, it's a good relationship. If when I work for me, I also work for you, then we have a good relationship. And I can, I expect it's doing the same. They're working for themselves, but they're working for us right now. So that's, that's good. That's good interaction. Of course, we can do the creasing and the die cut, which are the standard, but we can also combine them. So we can do a perforation on the creasing line, which is impossible with the conventional. We can do half cut, and uh, with the laser, it's very, very precise. Much better than with conventional, because we can uh, guarantee all the, all the run that um, the half cut will be exactly the same. And this is very, very interesting. Yeah, perforation, and we can also do a stripping, stripping bands for uh, easy opening uh, products, which is very impressive when you compare to conventional. We are progressing and we have different questions from our customers, so we know that new projects are coming, more complex, different, and so on. More and more, we have different projects with really interesting things uh, that they are challenging even also us with new 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 shape new new things. En fait, on, on croit beaucoup dans cette technologie, on a beaucoup de choses à apprendre là-dedans. Alors déjà, ça nous offre très rapidement de nouvelles possibilités pour proposer aux clients des euh, des choses différentes et euh, et permettre de de répondre par la découpe à euh, et des demandes de, 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 de clients sur ce domaine-là. Déjà, c'est offrir à nos clients déjà existants euh, des nouvelles opportunités pour, euh, pour faire de nouveaux packaging et euh, aller euh, créer quelques, des choses complètement nouvelles. Disons qu'il y a, pour moi, il y a deux, deux choses complètement différentes. Il y a cette possibilité de créer des nouveaux produits et d'offrir à nos clients existants ou des nouveaux clients cette, euh, cette possibilité supplémentaire. Et puis deuxièmement, il y a l'aspect technique des choses, puisque sur, euh, sur cette nouvelle technologie, euh, aujourd'hui la, la découpe, ça représente un coût avec des formes de découpe, avec un, un temps de préparation qui est, qui est long. Et là aujourd'hui, ben, c'est ce qu'on veut aussi apporter et ce qu'on espère apporter demain, c'est euh, de nouvelles choses. Yeah, today we can do a, a file of the die cut with, uh, for, for the beam and we, 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 print, we print the file so we don't have to think about having the tools and to, to, or to optimize badly because we already have the tool and to find a, a way. Here we can be very precise on, uh, on the ganging, yes. With them the process, uh, we get an order on, on a Friday and we have to deliver them uh, 10 days after. So we need to create the do job docket, we have to print, we have to die cut, we have to, to glue and to deliver. Par rapport, euh, par rapport au fait effectivement que, que d'être les premiers à faire, à développer sur ce, sur ce marché, euh, effectivement ça nous donne une avance, 
mais, euh, mais aujourd'hui c'est une continuité, c'est un tout par rapport, par rapport à, notre, à, à notre métier. Et, euh, et on veut complètement l'intégrer dans notre, dans notre métier. Oui, bien sûr. Enfin, c'est euh, d'ailleurs, bon, on a placé la machine euh, tout de suite en entrant dans l'usine. Voilà, il y, y a vraiment, enfin, on veut dire qu'on voilà, qu est aussi demain capable de, de faire de la découpe, de la découpe laser. Donc euh, voilà. Et, mais bien sûr, mais c'est une continuité, c'est un tout. Et aujourd'hui, euh, on, euh, on veut profiter de ce nouveau, de ce nouveau système. Oui, alors cette, cette solution technique, effectivement, elle intéresse les clients parce que euh, jusqu'à présent, la, la partie innovation était beaucoup liée au graphisme, était beaucoup liée à, je dirais, à la, à la forme de, des packagings. Maintenant, ça offre une, une solution supplémentaire. Aujourd'hui, c'est un cette possibilité de, de faire aussi des petites séries, euh, si, euh, enfin, en faisant aussi à l'avance de, de l'impression numérique. Forcément, bah, c'est euh, quelque chose auquel on n'avait pas, enfin, une chose à, la, à laquelle on n'avait pas accès en tant que, c'est-à-dire que nos clients font aussi des petites séries, font des micro séries. Et, et aujourd'hui, ben, à nous de, de, de leur apporter cette, cette nouvelle solution. Et c'est euh, aujourd'hui, le marché va dans ce sens-là avec beaucoup plus de micro-séries que des, des, des énormes, des, des énormes euh, tirages qui sont, qui sont très, très importants. Oui, bien sûr, enfin, il faudra, faudra faut pouvoir, le, pouvoir imprimer aussi euh, en, éventuellement en impression numérique et des choses comme ça. Donc là, voilà, demain, on veut vraiment pouvoir être, je dirais, avant-gardiste sur ce, sur ce domaine-là du packaging, je dirais, tout numérique. I, I don't think that the market is changing due to the fact that we have an icon. I think the market is anyway going into this direction and that the BIM is more a tool, it's more something that we have that will help us To, to, to follow the market. It's more, it's, anyway, it's a market direction which is taken now and we have to go in, into this direction. We don't have any choices. And this is the tool that we, yes, BIM is a tool that will help us to, to reach this.